Good morning, students. Please take a seat. So we're going to start a new topic. Before the new topic, just recap our previous knowledge. So multiple choice questions. You already have small whiteboard. So you just write your answers A or B or C in this white paper. When I said one, two, three, you just show B. OK? Raise your hands. The first question. The shapes of the complexes, chromium Cl minus and the platine R. So wait, wait, wait. Don't show. When I said one, two, one, two, three, start. So show the answers for each of you. The correct answer is D. 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 So why D? Can you not really explain to Arjan why it's D? So because platinum and nickel compounds always shows square planar. This is just one hint is there. Are you ready for the next question? Yes. So next. Which of the following gives the electronic configuration for the chromium atom and chromium 2 plus ion? Take the booklet, so work with periodic table. That one hint, the chromium's exception. So one, 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 two, just quick calculation. One, two, one, two, three. Then show the answers for each of you. So the correct answer. Rani, can you show the correct answer? Okay, B. Why it's B? Why not Z? Why not A? So it's an exception. At the end of the chromium, it should be 4s1 electron, not 2. So I told you it's a hint, guys. So we're done with this recalling the knowledge. Just leave the, your whiteboards. By the way, just listen to me. So look at this picture and try to guess the lesson topic. So what can you see in this picture? Uh, color, change. color change. So think one minute, then share your thoughts with your partner, then tell us why this changed the color. <coughs> the first one, the second one, the third one. You can discuss with your friends. So, Nazgul, for the first one, why this changed the color? Well done. This is change in coordination number or change in ligands. We can accept this answer. Second one, Gilnas, your group. Mm, uh, I think the change should be seen because of the um, change in what? In the oxidation state. state. Well done. Different oxidation state. The last, Shansai, your group. <laughs> Sorry? Okay, uh, what is the change? Oh, AQs, AQs. This one is oh, also. This is there, and there, and so the change in ligands. Okay, the three change. So, success criteria that they are the factors which affected the color change. You already know why the transition metal shows the colored compounds. Now, the reason is there that I then identify the factors which is affected to this change. So, you already found change in coordination number affect to the color change. Next, change in oxidation state also affected to the change of the color. The last one, change in ligands. So these three factors will affect to the change of the color. So your learning objectives there in this lesson. You have to define the term of ligand substitution by yourself, then be able to carry out simple tests to reactions to the ligand substitution, and then be able to explain for me ligand substitution in terms of the, the similar and the similar sized ligands. Okay, are you ready? Yes. So, then, what does the substitution mean? Mm. Replacing. Replacing uh, another uh. synonyms of that. Changing places. Changing places, okay. That, what is the mean of the ligands? Um. Dina? Uh, particles that can form uh, adane layer to electrons, long layers to uh, carbon. Uh, oh, metal, metal iron, iron to form? Have 
coordinate bond. So if I give you ligand substitution, so what will be the definition of that? Um, it is substitution. It is, uh, it is uh, just type of reaction mm -hmm. that uh, in, in which ligands um, change this place. Or one ligand replace, replace the another. another ligand. So ligand substitution is the reaction in which one ligand in the complex ion is replaced by another one. So this is the definition of that. So just write down the definition on your copybooks this quick. Then you're able to understand the things. Can you give me an example of one complex ion? This is platine or the easiest one. Copper. H2O6. 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 What I left? Charge. What will be the charge? Two plus. So what will be the shape of this complex ion? Octahedral shape. Okay, let's just I draw octahedral shape. Then it's all of you, they are the H2O molecules. So H2O, just say H2O, 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 H2O and H2O. If I this one H2O and two H2O replace with the NH3, it's a ligand substitution. Don't forget about the overall charge of this complex ion. So, ligands exchange result in the color change. So, sometimes the ligand substitution can be a partial. So, not all of the water molecules can be replaced with the ammonia. Some of them yes, some of them not. So, it will be given for you in the tasks, okay? So, during the tasks. Now, you have the practical activity. Just listen what you have to do. The time is 10 minutes. During the 10 minutes, get into pairs. So, here we have the nine students, so just get into three groups. Three of you, one group, just three of you, one group, and three of you, one group, okay? So, take the solution containing the transition metal ion, or this oil is the metal hexa aqua complex ions, okay? Then carry out the following tests. Add excess aqueous ammonia, first of all, then see the color change, then add concentrated hydrochloric acid. Guys, safety is the first, concentrated hydrochloric acids. Be careful with your eyes, keep always the glasses, okay? So, next, what you have to, how you're gonna share this, your results for us. Make a poster to explain the ligand exchange reactions. You should include these things in your poster. Write the formula of original ion, your original ion which I gave you. You have the different metals, okay? So, write the formula of each ion when ligand exchange completely. So, you're gonna do, do the complete exchange of the ligands, not partially. The next, describe the color change. What was the initial color, what was the final color? Okay, then write the overall equation for the each reaction. Reaction for the ligand substitution. Draw 3D shapes of each complex ion, of the initial and the final. And identify the factor which is affected to the color change. Maybe it's an oxidation state change, maybe it's coordination number, or exam. then be ready to present. So during, when you're making the poster, be ready to present. Who are going to present in your groups? Maybe three of you together will present the things. Okay. But this battery is uh, This should be then complex ion. Complex ion. So what is the original formula? Yay! Finally, you found out. Well done, these girls is working very well. Now we are going to talk about um, replacement and ligand substitution reactions. So we have, uh, we want to describe you the color of a nickel uh, Hexa aqua. Hexa aqua. Complex. Uh, it is like a dark green, darker than that, uh, as we can <laughs> see. And 
uh, when we add first, uh, when we add uh, ammonia, excess ammonia, it became, uh, it formed precipitate uh, of chloride and it uh, changed its color from green to purplish color. And then the second reaction, uh, when we add concentrated um, HCl, it became more pale green than uh, the original. Okay. Um, we see that the changes in color, the reason of these changes, the first of all, uh, because of the cardination number, because, mm -hmm. uh, and the start of reaction it was six, but at the end it became four, and uh, also um, fully changing ligands also affects to the color change. Okay, completely change. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What about the three D shapes? 3D shapes of uh, 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 square banner. Um, this first is a nickel tetrafluoro uh, complex, and this one is nickel amino uh, tetramonium uh, amino complex. Amino complex. complex. So you're making one big mistake. From no, everything. Your explanation is correct, but when you're writing, you're making one mistake. Can you look at this one, sir, what you left? We can say it's not a mistake, it's a correct thing, but without these things, the chemistry is never happened. So, uh, can, you show? can you show? The stage should be included also. No, and also, if we equal, uh, no, you forgot so, the number for like. So, how do you say what they need to do? Uh, you have to balance. You have to balance this equation. So, thank you, Als. Any question? No, thank you. What is all just changed? So, hint is there. Think about the two hints. If your ligands you replace it with different sizes. So, what has changed, what has not changed? Similar size. Can you give the ligands with the similar? Same through the shape is changed if it's similar size. Can you give me an example for the similar size? For example, uh, when, uh, when H2O. yes, H2O and NH3, it's in similar size. Yes. Yeah. So, what is changed during that? Uh, only ligands. Only ligands. Yes. Yeah. What is not changed? Uh, color. color will change uh, while shape, shape, shape is not changed and then. Oxidation number. If it's different size, can you give me example? H2O and chloride mines. H2O and chloride mines. What is changed then during this? Shape, shape, shape color, 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 oxidation number. Oxidation, oxidation number. number. What about the coordination number? Also change the coordination number. If it's H2O, what will be the coordination number? Six, while in chloride mines, four. Okay, then keep in mind, ligand substitution, ligand with the similar size. Molecules will be the similar size, H2O and NH3. So when the ligand is substituted with similar size, there is no change in coordination number and no change in shape, you already mentioned. Just change we'll see in color. So for example, the cobalt solution is already pink. When we added the excess NH3, it becomes as a brown or orange. Okay, the shape is not changed and oxidation state. While if you have different sizes, like a chlorine and a H2, which one is the bigger? Um, chlorine is bigger, why? Because it's iron. It's an iron. Iron accepts electron and become bigger. Okay, don't forget about it. Then we'll see the change in coordination number and change in shape you already mentioned. So what will be the Octahedral. Octahedral become tetrahedral. tetrahedral. So, change in coordination number. What is the shape? Four. Four. Well done. So, sometimes the partial substitution can be, it's about the one, li one ligand is changed in your octahedral complex. It's like a couple of compounds. So, then think, pair and share. You have to complete the things. Look at the color change and tell me what factor is affected to this color change. And complete the things, then discuss with your partner, then <coughs> join to the small three groups, then you're able to discuss the things for me. Look at the, for the first one. Change in color from 
uh, changing color from blue uh, to yellow, changing coordination number from 6 to 4, change of shade from octahedral to tetrahedral, change in charge from 2 plus to 2 minus because different sizes. Because different sized ions. Next, quick. I Change color from uh, blue to dark blue. Dark blue, okay. Change in coordination number. Six to six. six. Doesn't change. Change of shape doesn't change. Okay. Change in charge it also doesn't change. Because? Because they have similar size. size. Well done. Explain the ligand substitution with similar and dissimilar size. Can you able to explain that things? Okay. Then well done. You achieved all your learning objectives. So, this will be your homework. So homework I gave you as a differentiation homework. If you fully understand that things, you can able to complete the higher order thinking questions. If you're not done with that, then choose the knowledge based. Then after that things, when you're able, you can choose the both of them because it's on the back page. So thank you. Bye bye. The lesson is over.